Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Auto's HQ. Today, guys, we are working on um, the Red Fiat 500 Lounge, um, the one we was working on a couple of days ago. <clears throat> so yeah, I've, uh, I've managed to source the front bumper, the rear bumper, um, and we're gonna deal with the scrap, I've got a scratch repair all kit. I don't know if it's going to work. I should really sort of... <laughs> we, will, we, will see, we will see if this works. I'd be shocked if it does, I'll tell you. Because, um, yeah. But I suppose anything, anything, you know, if it makes it a little bit better, something's better than nothing, right? So, yeah. Improves visibility, uh, polishes... Scuffs, uh, scratches, and marks and stains. It gets it all off, apparently. So we will find out. It's got like a nice little bit before and after. See that little scratch there, look. So. Interesting. Interesting if this works. So we will definitely be getting to that today, hopefully. But I want to get the bumpers sorted out on the front and rear. I managed to get a rear one with the chrome piece on this car. So we're going to swap that over. Um, and then get it basically just get it ready for the paint shop because that one's is you know should be sort of close as well. So let's get this Fiat 500X out of the way that we did yesterday. Oh, actually, you saw it the, the following day because I'm, I'm a day behind. Um, yeah, I had to go out and get some bits and pieces and parts so it kind of knocked me back. So I had to chuck in um, a scan tool review video. <laughs> You know, it is what it is. Like they help out; those scan tools do help me out, like in the workshop. So every now and then, I have to sort of do a, a scan tool review and unboxing and stuff like that for these guys if they want to send me scan tools. But I will be giving one of them away. Um, I have got another one I've got to do a review on, which is a launch uh, scan tool. So I'm not sure which one it's going to be, but I will definitely be giving a scan tour away, guys. I did say it on the channel before in the video. I promise you, I will be doing that. That will be happening. But um, for today, let's get this out of the way, get the other one in, and um, yeah, get cracking. Let's do this. So, right, guys, here we go. This is the one we're working on. Um, <laughs> I just don't know about these scratches, you know. I just don't know if it's going to get it out. We'll, we'll have a go. It's worth a try. That's what I'm just going to say. It's worth, it's worth a try. You don't know until you try. Um, I'm going to have a go at that. Also, I'm going to have a go at the... There's some rear scratches here. You can see them. This, this is basically down to the window wiper going round. But you can see... You see that there? Uh, there's, there's actually two, there's one here and one there. So we were going to be give, giving them a go as well. Um, you know, because end of the day, it's uh, it's worth it's worth a try. It's worth a try. But let me show you what I've got. <clears throat> I've got the front bumper, got the rear bumper with the chrome trim. They're both in red. Um, now, I took a colour match of the wing from this car um, to this place and... It, I think it's there, but you never know until you put them on. So let's just, um, you know, end of the day, he's got to do some painting quite a lot. He's got to do the door, he's got to do the wing, and he's got to do the repair on the quarter there as well. So he's got to sort that out. He's told me he's been over and he said, listen, don't mess around with this. He said, let, let him do it. So he's going he's gonna to chase it back. Um, and he's going to redo this, this rear quarter for me. He said, because when you change that bumper, you're going you're to be pulling it about anyway and, and moving it. He said, so um, he said, just, just, just leave that with him. Um, and then, yeah, he's going he's gonna to sort that out. So he said, all I'll be doing is possibly making it worse for him, uh, <laughs> which, is, which is unbelievable. But yeah, but it, it, only, it only comes to about here. The this is all metal up to here. Then it's a little bit of filler. Then a the bit of metal here and a bit of metal here. So it's only literally this, this kind of round bit here. So yeah, that's where we are. But I'm going to be doing the rear bumper because I've got it. But I think what we'll do first is let's get the front on first. Get that together. 
Then we'll have a look at the colour match. We'll have a look, see what, what the shade's like. Um, we'll give it, I still ain't cleaned this car, you know. Still haven't cleaned it. But yeah, we'll clean it all up. Uh, and then we'll, and we'll go from there. So, have I got the headlights? Do you know what? I don't even think I've got the headlights. Damn. I might have to go off, get a headlight, come back, and then we'll do that as well. Because there's no point putting the, you know, I can't put the bumper on until I put the headlights in. Damn, I forgot about that. Right, anyway, let me go off and get one. We have got one. This one, this one here is for the passenger side. And this is for the driver's side, but it's, you can see it's broke. It's no good. It's going to be thrown. Um, take the bulbs out and then throw it. So let me go off and get one. And uh, I'll see you soon. Set you up and then uh, let's get cracking. Right, okay, guys, let me show you the front. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you the actual color match, which is pretty much bang on. That is a good color match. So I'm well happy with that. You can see that obviously not many as it goes around here. It's, it's quite difficult actually to, to, to tell because of the light and the shade, but I'm telling you, this, this is spot on. This is really, really good. Um, it is a good match apart from obviously the odd scratch that I can try and buff out the odd, odd stone chip um, but the stone chips all over the bonnet as well so it, they are you know it is a second hand wear and tear part isn't it at the end of the day it's going to get it's going to get scuffy it's going to get um, a few marks on it but I'll tidy it up you know absolutely the best I can but then now really all he's got to do is just do this wing paint the wing, the door, I want that door done as well because that's terrible. <laughs> so door, wing, and then it'll just blend it into the the, 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 bon the bumper and the and the, the bonnet, the bonnet and the bumper at the front. Um, but I've got to be honest, this now, that's the least of my issues. Like I, I've taken off the rear wheels, as you can see they're down there, and I'm going to get them out of the front. I'm going to give them a clean before I put them back, as I normally would. But... As I thought, this rear has got some issues. Not just here, the the, the whole the whole rear basically has got issues. Um, you can see it is just mangled. Um, yeah, I don't know what is going on here until I get this bumper off, have a good look at it, um, and then we can have a good look on the. 
on the inside as well, just to see what is going on. But it does look like this has had a shunt and someone has just covered it up as per usual. Um, it just shows, doesn't it? Like, even, if, even if someone sold this car as it was, like before the crash, yeah? Before the crash, if someone sold this car, the person buying it would never know. Would never know. They would never think, oh, I'll take the bumper off. I want to check underneath. They don't go to, you don't go to that detail when it, when it comes to buying even a second-hand car. And this is exactly, um, is exactly what I'm talking about. People just want to hide it and don't care. So, uh, yeah, I, I do care, and I'm not going to hide that, and I'm going to take it all apart. Even the brackets, do you know the, the brackets for the bumper? They're all missing. I don't know about the middle one. Middle one is there. Okay, so it, it's not... We'll have to get this bumper off and have a good look, yeah? But I can see the plastic across the front. That hasn't been hit, damaged, doesn't look damaged at all. Crash bar, that's still in place and that's not been damaged or hit or dented. So that's good. So it just really looks like the, the actual damage was on this corner. So, yeah. But uh, another thing to sort out. <laughs> another thing to sort out. But I'm definitely doing it. I ain't, I ain't leaving it like it. So, uh, you know, I'll, um, whatever I do, it's going to be better than just leaving it and, and hiding it, yeah? So... Yeah, so that's the rear, but we're not we're not sort of we're not onto the rear at the minute. The reason why I took this off, this wheel arch, um, was to get to the bolts up here uh, for the fuel flap. So that's what we that's what I do to um, to undo this fuel flap. There, it goes through, and then there's two bolts here. These two bolts here, ten, uh, eight, they're ten mils. Um, you undo them too. And then that fuel flap can come away and that can go to the paint shop to get the colour match that they scan. They put a scanner on that. I've said this many times. They put a scanner on there to get the colour and the shade of the colour. And then they mix the colour paint to, to the actual exact, um, yeah, exactly what I need. So, but obviously I had like to take the wheel, the wheel arches off anyway because we are getting, we are changing this back bumper. Um... <laughs> But I just want to get it off now to have a look to see what, exactly what is going on. Um, so what I'll do is I'll probably continue with the front, put the wheel wheel arch liner in here, both sides. No one, no one. I'm going to leave that because I don't want it to be painted over. Like, do you know, like these wheel arch liners here? Look, someone's painted them. <laughs> They haven't taken them off. They haven't, they haven't, they haven't got, got them off. And you get like overspray going on over the wheel arches. What's the point? So it's just someone being lazy again. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave the wheel arches out. We're going to uh, put the um, clean the wheels, put the wheels back on, um, drop it down, move it over to the middle, bring it right over here, and then we're going to continue with the rear. Get that rear bumper off, see what's going on, and I'll show you exactly the damage that is behind it. I, I just hope it ain't that bad. But whatever happens, I've got to get two plastic brackets to support the bumper because they're completely missing. And someone's just put some filler there. I can see it. I know, I can see exactly what they've done. So you can see that, that obviously it's, it's built up here, along here. And then when you go from underneath, look what someone's done, look. They've just put a couple of screws and then the rest is filler you can see the filler it's all there oh, i can't see it it's all there it's built up and they've, they've just made it they've just bodged it up basically so yeah that'd be interesting to get that off but let's get the wheels done first get them back on place they're clean they can go back on and then we can uh yeah we can move on from there so let's keep going guys let's do this
Right, okay guys, let me show you what I have found. Um, I've got to be honest, straight off the, off, looking at it straight away, you think, do you know what? It ain't that bad. It looks like it's just a little bit of a nick at the corner here. Um, and it's the outside skin, really, that's been sort of damaged. I can, I can tell that straight away. Um, it's just, yeah, just a little bit different. I've stripped out the inside as well, because I just want to, I want to, <laughs> the thing is with it, right, is that because I started noticing things, as soon as I started noticing things, I'm thinking, well, hold on a minute, what else is hiding? So I had to take off all the carpets, strip it, everything out. I wanted to check and make sure that there's no damage whatsoever, because at the end of the day, guys, this is my responsibility now to get right and put right and fix. It is. I bought it. It's my responsibility. Now, most people, um, a lot, a lot of people would have just saw what I saw and thought, I ain't touching that. Or, you know, just left the rear bumper and then just repaired this crack here just and then resprayed it a bit and that's it. They would have kicked it out the door. That's not what I'm all about. I want to go into great detail um and i want to dive deep into why it's happening and repair the, the parts i've always done it you, you, you've been watching me for a long time now guys you all know exactly what i'm like and i can't leave this like this um so let me show you the inside straight away so on this corner here um no this bracket looks absolutely straight there's nothing wrong with the actual um, the tub here at all, or the back panel going through. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Um, it looks absolutely fine. The only thing I have found was someone's put a drawer in here, like around here with some arrows. You can see the arrows. So I don't know what that's all about, apart from all I can see is right in this corner here, it's got a little bit coming through. So that bit there is... This here, this corner here. So that needs punching back out a little bit. This plate here needs straightening back off. Um, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure about what's going on here. I've got to be honest. Um, but I really want to chisel this all away. Someone has, you know, spent a lot of time putting filler all over this and hiding it. And you know, repairing it the best they can, but it's not it's not right. So um obviously we're gonna need a because with this with this bumper trim uh, plastic connector, it goes along here and then comes onto here so that you can screw it down um from the top and into the into the bumper. Um so you know this side's obviously smashed off and, and, and missing. The other side smashed off and missing as well with some filler again um all i can assume is that they've tried to put it up against it it, it hasn't closed it it won't close it uh, unless you've got the proper bracket so they've put a little bit of filler in it and then sprayed it to to cover it up that's all i can imagine but i've got to chisel all that away that filler um and that's definitely got to be removed and i believe this side looks okay i can't really see um yeah that that this side with with an issue i've got to be honest so but i think this was the cause of the the, the, the problem this that must have been a bit of a hit here um and instead of just trying to sort of pull this back out and putting a bracket on properly renewing the bracket which is they're, they're not a lot of money these brackets i don't know why it weren't done they've uh they've um yeah they've <laughs> they've just Remove the other side so that it matches, and then, th yeah, that's what they've done. But yeah, that's that's why we've got some lines here because it just isn't done properly. So I really want to bang all this chip, this 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 filler away, and I've got to be honest, that is quite thick. Uh, but it has to come out. It, it all has to go back. I, I want to find out why why it's doing that and pull the metal out. Look at that, look. It's just not right, guys, is it? Look how much filler is on it. 
You got mate? How much fillers there? Sorry, someone walked past and waved. It's just not right. It's ridiculous. So this this all needs pulling back out. I've got you know slide hammers and we're gonna you know do the best we can with it, but it's gonna have to go to the paint shot and body shot, I think, to have this corner lined up, lined up, lined back up and sorted back out. Um, you know, it is what it is. Look how bad that is. I had a funny feeling it was gonna be like this. Ah, oh, God, just unbelievable, isn't it? But yeah, that's what I've found so far. Behind here, absolutely fine, no, normal. It's just, it's just all that there. <laughs> uh, watch. There you go. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, <laughs> you know I'm going to pull it all off. It's just, <laughs> it's just what it is, isn't it? Um. So yeah. Let me uh, set you back up. I'm going to start taking these plastic picks off, start chiseling off, get this filler off, and um, we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see exactly what is going on behind that filler. Because <laughs> that is all filler. Right, let me set you up. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Let's get this off. Right, <laughs> I could, I can only, I can only laugh. This is crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I cannot leave it. I cannot leave it, guys. It's just, look at the state of it underneath this filler. Someone's tried to put pop, pop rivets in it. Someone's got a, looks like a now. It's just, oh, God. So, yeah, there we go. This is the reason why it was cracking, because it was so thick, um, and it's just not right, is it? It's just not right, and there's no way that's going to be repaired. I've got to be honest. There's no way that this is going to be repaired, and I mean, like, filler and pulled and anything like that. That has got to be cut away cut off, replaced, welded, and that's it. That's that's what's got to happen here. Um, so basically, yeah, I've spoke to the body shop guy. Um, he's going to come have a look at it and then just basically just say, like, he's, I know he's going to say, well, I hope he's not going to say the whole quarter um, because that's, that's a lot, a lot of work. So I'm hoping he's going to say, look, get me a cut. Um, on another car, get me a get me a cut here, along here, and then down here, somewhere. Um, and then he he, he can replace the back um, back quarter part, cut, cut it off, and and we'll get it um, we'll get it done like that. Um, that's what I'm hoping he's going to say. But he, he, yeah, he, he's on his way, so I'm going to see what he says. But it's just crazy, guys. Look at that. Someone has just chucked a load of filler over it and sprayed it. So this is look at the state of it. And some of it's really thick as well. Some of it's really thick. That's got to be 20 mil. That's madness. It's madness. So, yeah, it is what it is. And I'm glad... I'm doing this, and I'm glad I'm showing it. Um, yeah, definitely glad I'm showing it. 
So it's got a few, there's a few spot, spot welds here. And then there's a few spot welds that run up here. So yeah. There's like a line here that goes through. Maybe that's what he wants me to, don't know. But yeah, the, this, this, actually, this is actually fine. This, this top pit here is actually fine. It's just, it's just this, this, this quarter here. So I don't know, even know if we can get away with just going across that line there and then coming down and squaring it off here and just replacing this back corner piece. But yeah, I'm gonna to speak to him, see what he says. There's some pop, there's some some rivets here, I think as well, I just saw. So I've got to check to see where the rivets are. Um, I'd like to hope that we haven't got to go this this way as well and, and do the whole quarter. I, I'd like to think we ain't got to do that. I just don't know. I just really don't know. Um, it's quite, it's quite flimsy because it's like an outer skin and then there's an inner skin obviously that there that's none of that's been hit but yeah it's definitely got to be cut away and another piece put in and then welded and then repaired like that that's how it's got to be done and that's how we're going to do it so yeah i'm going to speak to him I'd, i would like if i could to to cut this out myself do you know what I mean? So we can we can cut this out. I can easily cut that out. But I just need to know from him where, because I don't want to be going cutting in, in certain bits and pieces and, and, and it's no good and <laughs> I've cut too much or I ain't cut enough. So, yeah. But I'm going to continue chiseling this away just to see how far this, this, this filler actually goes. It's obviously going to get... You can see, it obviously, we've got the original paint here. And as it goes this way, and as it goes that way, it's going to be the, the filler. The filler will start thinning out, and it'll get thinner and thinner. So, because this is where the obviously the damage is. <sighs> Fuck, it's absolutely crazy. It's what, probably the worst bit I've, I've ever seen. That's probably the worst bit on the back quarter like that. Anyway, that's what we do. You know, we get them back to the back on the road, and we fix them correctly, how they should be fixed. So bear with me, let's, let's continue chiseling and then get some more away. But that is unbelievable, isn't it? So yeah, let's do this. Right, okay, so there we go, guys. <laughs> In the end, I just got a grinder to it and just cut it away because he's, he's cutting this away anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then basically, yeah. So I was using a disc um, to take away the filler and the paint just to see how far it goes. And um, it, it look, it's looking like it probably goes to about there. This, this doesn't really seem like it's been hit with any sort of filler, which is good. Looks like it's just primer, um, base coat and lacquer on those on those you can see a lot obviously there so there's no there's no filler at that top point um, and all I was doing was just following following the line all the way to see you know what exactly it is and it looks like the filler lot goes to that that up to that line there but we don't know how far this way it goes so we've just got to keep going with it um, and then just taking away that filler and getting it back to the original um, bodywork yeah so that's what we've got to do. You can see, obviously, there's a black line going up here and going across there. I've had the body shop guy out as well. He's turned around and said, that's what he wants. He needs this cut um, from the breakers. He needs that, that cut um, across, going under as well, 
going along because this seam here this outer skin and this inner skin is kind of connected um and he wants me to get that whole piece he doesn't really want to reuse this bit either you can see like it's got a few creases here as well so he doesn't really really want to use any of that which is good so it will come under uh, along and we'll get this whole corner even though this is probably okay here um probably just take it through the light maybe and then down there and then under so it'll just be this whole this whole corner section so yeah um definitely i've you know unearthed a can of worms but i kind of knew that's what was going to happen I've, I've got to be honest like having them big cracks down the lines and a lot of you guys were commenting as well you knew exactly what was going to happen um but yeah let me set you up let's keep going see how far it goes and then um let's do this Right, okay, so there we go, guys. Um, that's kind of really where I want to take it. Spoke to the painter uh, as well, and he just said, like, don't sort of take the, the, if it's a little bit full of this side, don't take it too far, because what they've done is they've obviously just built it up over, because obviously it was so thick there, they had to bring it right across, he said. So, you know, just leave it a little bit less, and he said it'll rub it down to where he needs to take it. Um, compared to where the cut's going to be for the actual weld so it's going to probably be over here somewhere up here down there so it's only going to leave a little piece like that just to sort out um the rest will be obviously you know original and uh welded in the correct position and right and right state so yeah but i'm glad really i really am glad that i sort of just got stuck in there's no point crying about it there's no point sort of sitting there think you know if buts and maybes oh i wish i never got the car or i wish i it's just you just get on with it um and uh you'll be surprised nine times out of ten it's just a case of um you know once you get stuck in and it, it just it's just yeah completely different um feeling because you know now that it's it's getting you know it's, it's going to be done correct and it's got to be done uh the right way so it, yeah it is, a, it is a nice feeling once you get to this point because i know now that uh, we're, we're going in the right direction so yeah but um for now guys that is going to be the end of this video um and the end of this this car for now um 
I'm going to have to. He, he said, "Don't leave it outside." Um, he said, "Just bring it inside," because obviously, you know, the damp and and the rain will uh, will get to the car, especially a bit obviously bare metal. So he said, "Keep it in here." So that's what I want to do. I want to bring it in this side, um, and then we can still work on another vehicle on this side. But look at the pile of filler that I've <laughs> accumulated off that car. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, so guys. That is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed me watching doing that. I'm actually quite enjoyed doing that. I've got to be honest. It's, uh, it's more. It's like it's a bit of body work, um, and it's all, obviously all. It's all learning curves, and it's all practice, um, and uh, that is going to get, get done properly, <laughs> and it and it is. So there you go. Right. Okay. That's the end of today's video. Don't forget to drop me a comment if you've got anything to say about this one um and um yeah i'll see you the next one take care and i'll see you soon